Once we've completed looking at our assumptions, we're ready to jump onto our hypothesis. Uh, so when we do our hypotheses, uh, they're basically the same. We still have a novel and alternative hypothesis. We're still trying to basically conclude our alternative hypothesis. And I'm going to spend a, another separate video just covering how to write these hypotheses for both our categorical and our numerical scenarios. So look for that one for just a little bit more in depth. Uh, then the next that we've got is we establish our alpha value. Now alpha is exactly the same. It still represents the percent of the time that we are going to be rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is in fact true. Uh, so nice thing there is it's the same between one sample and two sample. Okay, next that we've got to do is we've got to figure out our testing method. And remember for our testing method we've really got three different types. We've got one for dealing with categorical. So if we're dealing with categorical, we know that we're basically just doing a two sample um, test of our proportions, and so we just have one option. But if we're dealing with means, we've got one that is with equal variance, and we've got one means where we're doing it with unequal And the reason why this is important is because of how we basically calculate essentially the effective standard error. Uh, there's a different methodology based upon if we can assume that the means have equal variance versus if they have unequal variance. Um, we could dive into the math behind it. I'll show you the equations later, but we're really going to let our software handle this. All we need to know is like, are they going to be equal variances or unequal variances? Here's how you do the check. So if we were to take this example, from each of these we know that Prairie, the, the sample that we took from Prairie and the sample that we took from Summit, there would be like, let's say Prairie, let me get another color, we'll have Prairie stuff be these and this would be like N1, S1, X bar 1, something like that. And then we'd also have a sample size for summit, we could go and look at all of those descriptive statistics really easily. Have our commander give them for these two groups. So if we want to, if we're comparing these two groups and we want to know do they have equal variances or not, here's the check that we want to do. So one of these standard deviations is going to be bigger than the other. Like the likelihood that they're going to be exactly equal from your samples is essentially zero. Um, so they're going to be different, but we want to know, it's like, are they close enough for us, to be, for us to consider them that they are equal? So here's what you do. You take, you take the sample standard deviation that is the biggest one. And you divide it by the sample standard deviation that is the smallest. And if this is less than or equal to 2, we're good to go. Basically, it means that the smallest or that the biggest isn't more than two times the smallest. And if we can say that, we can basically say, hey, yeah, we know that these standard deviations are different from one another, but they're close enough for us to consider them to be equal. So if this is true, we're going to use equal variances. If this is not true, or you know, if, the, if this guy is greater than uh, 2, then we use the unequal variance. And that, that's basically the only check that you have to do to figure out which testing method you use uh, for the means.